Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to create a reverse delay effect. It's a quite cool effect that can be used, well, mostly on vocals, but also on percussion and other sounds. Uh, we will be using this sample. Don't stop now. You can find it by going to packs and vocals. So I'll just drag that one in here. Don't stop now. I mean, don't need these other channels, so just select them, go to channels, uh, delete selected. Now I need two of these, so I'll clone them. And the second one will be linked to a mixer track. Now you could do that by clicking assign free mixer track here, and that will automatically link you to the first free mixer track. You could also right click on any mixer track, click, click on link selected channels to this track. Uh, so this is the original sample, but on the second one, we just want the first part, the word don't, to be heard. So, on the mixer track, I'll add an Edison and drag the sample in here. Well, you could just have right-click on this waveform and click edit, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, in here, just, um, select all that we don't want and click delete on my keyboard. Now we have this. So you can click here and drag this new sample to replace the old one. Now we don't need this one anymore. So now what you want to do is click reverse here. And in this mixer track, you should add delay. Well you could also do it using reverb. And uh, you could also do it using a combination of delay and reverb. But in this tutorial I'll show you how to do it with delay. So you can use quite a lot of delay actually. Like that, perhaps. Yeah, that's okay. Um, in here, you can you should add a new Edison and click record and play the sample. No, then uh, when it's quiet, you can click stop. So uh, now you click this button. That will automatically create an audio clip and place it in the playlist. So I'll go to the settings from this auto this audio clip, and um, I'll reverse this one as as well. And then I'll take the first sample, the or the original sample, and drag this in here as a new audio clip. Don't stop now. You know, if you go up here and click this button, make sure that this is set to none, because otherwise, if it's set to something else, when you move it, it will snap to these lines. But if you put it to none, it will move freely like this. Now, I've seen this one is much louder than the first sample, so I'll decrease the volume of that one and increase the volume of this one. Now, use the slice tool to cut away the last part of the first sample here. I'll delete that and drag this one to replace it. Now make sure that these samples are not linked to a mixer track. So you can click on this one and see here it says 3. That means it's linked to the third mixer track. So you can just click here and drag that down. So now we're actually done. Let's see what this sounds like. Stop now. Yeah, so that's actually a cool effect that can be used um, if you're working a lot with vocals. You could also do this effect using reverb, and I made that uh, just right before I started recording this, this tutorial. So I'll show you what it sounds like if you would have used reverb instead of the delay. Now listen to this. Stop now. I actually think it sounds better if you use reverb instead of delay. But anyway, that's all from me. Um, please subscribe and uh, bye.